Okay, this is module 23. So continuing on with our circles, it says here, write the equation of a circle centered at the origin in its radius or a point on the circle. So it's telling me, first of all, that the circle is centered at the origin. What that means is that the center is going to be zero comma zero. So my H is zero and my K is zero. Now remember the standard form. It's X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared, okay? And since I already know that H is zero because it's centered at this uh, origin, and I already know that the K value is zero, I just need to figure out what the radius is, okay? And then this can just be written as X squared and Y squared. We just need to figure out what number belongs there to find our answer. Now, since they gave me another point, this one might help if you just graph it. So here's the center, and at eight comma zero, which is over here, that's another point, which means my circle looks something like this. Okay, well, what's the radius? The radius is half that distance there, and from zero to eight, that radius would be eight, okay? So my radius is gonna equal eight. So I'm plugging in eight in here for radius squared. And then what is eight squared? It's 64. So the entire equation that I type into the computer will be this entire equation, okay? Similarly, this one's actually easier because they give me what the radius is. I know that r is equal to six, and I already know that the center is going to be zero, zero. So then I'm going to have um, x minus zero squared, y minus zero squared equal to six squared. So x squared plus y squared equals 36. And that's the equation. Not too bad. They will get more challenging. But let's go ahead and, and start beefing up that level of difficulty. So writing an equation of a circle given the center and radius or diameter. Okay, so they gave us the center and they gave us the radius. This is nice, right? Um, this means h equals negative 7 and k equals 6. So if I go straight into the standard form, x minus a negative 7 squared plus y minus a 6 squared equals to 4 squared. And then just clean it up. A double negative is actually a plus. And that will actually be 16. If you don't want to do this double negative junk, you can. Remember, if you put it in the parentheses, it's going to signs. If you put this one in the parentheses, it's change signs. And then just make sure you square your radius. This is the final answer, though. Okay. Here, it's a little bit di um, more difficult because they give you the diameter. So if the diameter is 10, remember that the radius, if we draw a circle here, this one's centered at zero, this one's not, but it doesn't matter. The radius is halfway. The diameter is the whole way across, okay? But you only want half of that. So if they give you the di diameter, your radius is going to be that diameter divided by two, which in this case results in five. Here, my h is negative eight and my k is going to be six. So x, and I'm gonna use opposite sign, positive eight squared, y opposite sign minus six squared equal to my radius squared so we end up with x plus eight squared y minus six squared equal to 25 and that equation they're looking for so getting a little bit not too bad nothing crazy yet this one starts to increase that level of difficulty a little bit though so this one says find the equation that has this center so this is where you're going to get the H, this is where you're going to get the K, um, and passes through this point. So I don't know what the diameter is, I don't know what the radius is, but I'm still expected to figure this out, okay? I'm going to draw it here, but you don't have to draw it every single time. So here's the center, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and negative 1. Here's another point on the graph, which means that my circle probably looks something like that. I know it's a horrible circle, but you get the idea. If I want the radius, I need to figure out what this length is here from the center out to the edge of the circle. 
we have a formula to do that. It's called the distance formula, right? So I'm gonna call this one x1, y1, x2, y2, and I'm going to use my distance formula. So x1 minus x2 plus y1 minus y2 squared. This becomes plus, so I get eight squared. This becomes plus, I get one squared. So I get 64 plus one, which is the square root of 65. So that means my radius is the square root of 65. And my center is two and zero. So if I wanna write the equation, it's gonna be x opposite sign minus two squared plus y opposite, well it doesn't really matter what sign you put in there because it's zero, equal to my radius squared. So I have x minus two squared, there's no sense in writing that zero, so it's just y squared, and this will pop off the house just leaving me with 65. This is the equation that they want for the answer. So you do need to, when they give you the center and another point, you have to calculate the distance in order to figure out what the radius is, okay? This is D for distance, not D for diameter. There's a difference, right? Now here, writing an equation of a circle given the endpoints of a diameter. So this, you gotta be careful with your D's here. There's D for distance, D for diameter. Write, instead of little d, write D-I-S-T for distance, and then for diameter, write D-I-A or something like that to distinguish between the two variables, okay? Um, so you don't even need to use the letters, you can just use the words if you want to. Now, in this case, they do not give me this at all. All they give me is two points of the circle, at the ends, opposite ends. So what they've given me is like a point here, three, three, and then a point here, like three, negative four. So, well, this is a bad example, but you get the idea. It might be that the graph looks like this, okay? And so these are the opposite sides of that circle. I should have driven a, drew a table, not a circle. I don't know why I drew a circle first, okay? Right, the table could be like that. Anyway, um, three, three, and three, negative four. So it actually would be something like this, the table. But you get the idea, okay? So if I wanna figure out the center, the center here, I'm gonna have to figure out what the midpoint is. Ah, now we know why we had that midpoint formula, right? And if I'm gonna wanna know what the radius is, I'm going to have to find the diameter and divide it by two in order to figure out the radius, okay? So we do need to do both of those formulas. So the first one I'm gonna do is the radius. And in order to do that, I have to take the diameter and divide it by two. Well, guess what? The diameter is actually equivalent to the distance between the two points divided by two. And I know the formula for the distance between two points. So I'm gonna call this one x1, this one one, this one x2, this one y2. So I get um, three minus three squared plus um, negative four minus three squared, which gives me zero squared plus negative seven squared which gives me zero plus 49, which gives me the square root of 49 over two, which gives me seven over two. So my radius is equal to seven over two or 3.5, depending on if you like the decimal of the fractions, it doesn't matter. Okay, now um, we need to find that center, right? So the center is going to equal that midpoint. And we have a formula for midpoint. So 
So in this case, um, we're going to have x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2, which gives me 6 over 2, negative 1 over 2, which gives me 3 and negative 1 half, or 3 and negative 0 0.5. Again, depending on if you like the fraction version or the decimal version, okay? Usually, um, just out of habit, we normally go with the fraction version, okay? So when I write the equation, it's going to be x, the opposite sign of this, so 3 squared plus y, the opposite sign of this, so positive 1 half squared, equal to my radius, which is 7 halves squared. So if I want to write my final answer, trying to squeeze it in here, 7 halves squared is actually 49 over 4. So this is the equation that they want for the circle that they described up here.